everybody, welcome back. How you doing? It's you, it's me, I'm Grant, and you're my team. Previously on Fire Emblem Three Houses. All is for victory! Yeah, um, that happened. So, long story short, it's a very good day. We're doing some chapter 21. Let's start. We're on the penultimate chapter of our Golden Deer playthrough. Part 2. Verdant Wind. Blue Sea Moon. The City Without Light. Immediately following Edelgard's defeat, the Alliance Army discovers the existence of another adversary, a group operating behind the scenes within the Empire. Claude suspects that if the true enemy is left unchecked, disaster will befall Fodlan, and so he cuts short the celebration and the troops head for Shambhala, where this foe resides. I just don't get it. What's wrong, Claude? Those javelins of light. They were trying to use it to kill us at Fort Mercius, right? But then why not drop it on Garrig Mach? They must have known for a while that we were here. It is not that they chose to refrain, but rather that they were unable to do so. Rhea, how are you feeling? I am well enough. I cannot afford to rest while Fodlin is in danger. What do you mean when you say they couldn't drop a javelin of light here? Once, a very long time ago, a massive ball of light fell upon this monastery. However, that light mysteriously changed course in mid-air and landed in Aelel instead. So Aelel is the way it is now because that's where a javelin of light fell. The Holy Tomb is not only the location of the Progenitor God's eternal slumber, but also a sacred vessel for a power that repels evil. Supposedly, the Progenitor God built the Holy Tomb herself to protect her children from the evil light. So the children of the Goddess gathered in Xanado because of its proximity to the monastery? But we've fought at distant locations many times. Then why is it that the Javelins of Light only fell on Fort Mercius? In his letter, Hubert said that he detected their magic when the fort fell. In other words, because they used a Javelin of Light, Hubert was able to pinpoint the location of their base. Ah, so they didn't want us to know where their base is. And that's why they didn't use it until now? In any case, those Javelins of Light must be something they can't just use whenever they want. And they finally decided to use one at Mercius, where they were sure they'd be able to finish us off. It's only thanks to the whims of the Death Knight that we escaped with our lives. And no Javelins of Light have fallen since then. It's possible that the enemy hasn't yet realized that we've learned the location of their base. If so, their guard may be down, which makes this the perfect time for a surprise attack. I will accompany you. What? No! That would be far too dangerous! Your long confinement weakened you greatly, did it not? Those people have opposed us since ancient times. I wish to learn the truth about them for myself. I... I understand. I will not stop you, but please take care not to overexert yourself. We don't know exactly what we're up against here, but having you around is very reassuring, Rhea. Let's prepare to strike at Shambhala before they make their next move.
there is no need for world building, not for this chapter, because everybody laments over the, over the fact that they couldn't join forces with Edelgard to uh, unite together and be like, oh yeah, now we can all work to one common goal, or they're all celebrating the fact that the wicked bitch is dead, and honestly, mood. <laughs> But no, um, there's no point in world building, and we already have Killer Ferdinand. There's no point whatsoever in doing anything this month. So, let me very quickly. Let's get a shot. Oh shit! Hey, well done, buddy. Huh? Okay. No big deal, really. Well done, sexy. Yes. Okay. Mercenarisu. Please. <gasps> yes! Okay, we're off to a good start. Snatch it up! I passed. As expected. Well done, Sejith. Shamira, Shamira. I'd love to see it, see it. Uh-huh. Yori, we don't need to worry about you. Balthus. Come on, three for three. Oh. This is why we can't have nice things. Darling, because you break them, and I gotta take them away. This is why we can't have nice things. Bing. Yes. I passed, as I knew I would, of course. Yes, Queen. Beautiful. I wonder what mortal savant Yuri would be like. One day we'll have to try it. Or we can just give it a shot anyway. <laughs> that was a breeze. <sighs> oh no. Okay, long story short, Mortal Savant is apparently one of the worst classes in the game. I don't know because I've never really bothered using it, but I think it'd be really fun for like the end game. Ooh. Sword Fair, Black Tone Fair. That's really cool, actually. I really like that. I really like that. Because, like, you look at what he's got in Trickster now, and it's Lock, Touch, Stealth, and Lucky Seven. And then you have a look at Mortal Savant. And, like. Whew. His strength goes up. We love to see it. And his magic, too. Shit, yeah. We should actually reclass him then. What's stopping us? Reclass. What does he lose? Oh, dexterity, speed, luck, defense. Oh no, sorry, defense and resistance he gains. Wow. His dexterity only goes down by two points and his speed goes down by three, but Yuri's still an amazingly fast character. You won't be sorry. Oh, I know I won't be. Yay. Right. Constance. I need to put you in Dark Flyer. You just have the most mobility. Does this Ferdy has done beautifully this entire game. Right. Now I can get even stronger. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. We can put Lysipia back in Dark Fly for mobility because she's done her niche as the Gremory warp thing. That like last episode she used warp twice and it helped, it carried. Sweet, period. Okay. Claude, now I'm gonna put you in Barbarossa. My secret is hard work. I really should have waited until we finished off Sniper, but I don't have the patience to. So there you go, Barbarossa. Supports. 
expected, I am not finding anything at all. Flame, are you looking for something in particular? Oh, I was just hoping for general reading that might illustrate the lives of city dwellers. Right. Well, there should be regional records somewhere around here. I haven't need of official records or anything of the like. Just some light reading on the subject. Light reading? What do you mean by that? Oh, you know, books that cover things like what types of activities young people enjoy, how they spend their free time, popular fashions and trends, things of that sort, and even, perhaps, stories about romance. Ah, I see what you're getting at. Try asking a traveling merchant. I hear they keep stock of books like that. As for here, I don't think you're going to find much aside from a bunch of stuffy records. We do get new books donated on a fairly regular basis, but then Sedith, well, you know. My brother? I am afraid I do not follow. Apparently, he directly approves every book before it's allowed to grace these shelves. You know, to make sure nothing inappropriate gets through. I see. I did not realize he had a hand in such things. Well, I suppose it really is no use searching here. Why were you looking for those sorts of books anyway? Well, truth be told, I am not particularly well-versed in the ways of ordinary people. Seteth never taught me of such things, and he strictly forbade me from spending much time out and about on my own. Yeah, I had a feeling that might be the case. Sounds like Seteth. I understand and appreciate that he acted from a place of concern, of course. Without a doubt. It's obvious that you're his whole world, for better or worse. By the way, I've been wondering, are you two from a noble family? Hmm? You've clearly had a rather high-class upbringing, and both of you have crests. That can only mean you come from a prominent bloodline, right? Of course not. No, no, you, you are mistaken. So, your refined way of speaking isn't because of your upbringing? I was not aware that my speech differed so greatly from my companions. Do I really sound so... formal to you? Well, look, don't worry too much about it. I'm probably just overthinking things. Probably. Ferdinand, there you are. Stay back, Hilda. I will no longer entertain your clever little requests. Your wiles will not work this time. You shouldn't yell at a noble maiden. It's a no-no, etiquette-wise. By way of an apology, you may brew me some tea. I am sorry to have offended you, but delightful as it sounds, I will not be brewing any tea at present. Besides, I taught you how to do it before. You should be able to do it on your own, so why don't you? You did show me how to do it, but I can't do it as well as you. And why not? You selected just the right leaves, and you boiled them just right. You even considered the room temperature and humidity. Then, you set out just the right pot along with just the right cups. You immediately picked out a design that you knew I would like. When you poured, the temperature, the timing, and the technique were all impeccable. Hmm. You seem to know an awful lot about tea for someone who cannot even pour it. Oh, uh, uh, no, not really. Maybe I picked up a couple things from watching you. Even the sound of the liquid pouring into the cups was like music. Taken as a whole, it was an almost spiritual experience. A symphony for the senses. I was just making tea in the traditional fashion. Oh, I'm so flustered I'm not getting my point across. I'm trying to say that your tea is like love. You're devoted to bringing happiness to those who drink it. I could taste that from the first drop. Well, when serving another, one must put in a little bit of love. But I must say, you surprise me. Not many are so attentive to the finer points of tea. I made quite the impression on you. Perhaps I ought to pour you another cup. Really? Oh, thank you, Ferdinand. I shall find us a suitable brew. Wait here a moment. <laughs> oh, Ferdinand. So simple, and yet, so kind. Good morning, Hilda. Is anything troubling you today? Nope, nothing. If there was, I don't think I'd ask for your help. 
I'm sorry to hear that. Have I done something to upset you? Not exactly. You go overboard helping me is all. You do way, way too much. So I feel guilty, like I'm putting you out. Goodness, it was never my intention to have you worry about me. Hmm, can I ask you something? Of course, what is it? What are you doing today? Following my morning prayers, I'll be cleaning the altar, then caring for the flowers in the greenhouse. Then it's off to the library to help organize and sort, then to the dining hall to wipe down the tables and chairs. The floors could use a good polish too. Oh, and the weather's so nice that I might air out the bedding. After that, it's... Wow, you're still not done? There's more? Well, the dishcloths in the dining hall are all frayed, so I was hoping to mend them. Sewing? Don't you think that's too much? Whatever do you mean? And why are you speaking so loudly all of a sudden? Ugh, I'll help with the dining hall, but I am not sewing. You want to help? That would be delightful. Everyone asks you for help, and you always say yes, don't you? I suppose. I believe it's important to help where you can. If you see someone in trouble, you can't leave them, can you? You're too kind, Mercedes. Literally, I can't empathize. I'm sure you can. You and I are very similar in that way. Are you serious? How? We have nothing in common. That may be so, but you thought I was in trouble, and you agreed to help, didn't you? Well, I mean, yes. That's exactly what I do. I'm so happy to have found a kindred spirit. Uh, if that's what makes you happy, okay. Kindred spirits, let's go with that. Now that I've got you at my side, I can take on even more responsibilities. Not a chance. Right. That's been took care of. Scoop. Yes. I'm happy to have this time with you. Hmm, it's a nice smell. I think I love this one. <laughs> Thanks. Hmm, the taste of relaxation. <laughs> Let's see if I know you. But let's also see if I can fuck up your birthday. Right. Working hours for gods. Celebrations. Guessing someone's age. It's celebrations. He likes a party. Oh. The ideal relationship. Monastery rules. A new gambit. Monastery rules. Oh, a new gambit. Yay. Oh. The existence of crests. You're doing great work. Again, celebrations. <laughs> Yay. I'll take you to my hometown one day. There are some truly tasty dishes you can't find in Fodlan. Blush. What do you mean? I should be flattered that he wants to take me away to another country. Oh. Owl feather. Hey, this is great. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Uh huh. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Violet. No, oh, thanks. Ah, I'm afraid I've stayed too long. Thanks for the tea. Let's plan to do this again sometime. Look how gorgeous, though. <sighs> I'm really getting the hang of it. Now to apply this knowledge. Another gain from mortal risk. Interesting. All that work was worth it. Well worth the effort. There we go. Second best cleric. Some of you may be wondering why we're skipping so much. Uh, it's literally because of the fact that, well, 
There's nothing of consequence for us to do in terms of fighting and we're already plenty strong enough. Mission. Stand strong at Shambhala. Though the flame of war is quenched, its embers endure. You travel deep underground to confront those who slither in the dark and bring lasting peace to Fodlan. Let's go. Begin. Relying on a map entrusted to them by Hubert, the Alliance Army sets their sights on the base belonging to those who slither in the dark. Beyond its entrance, they are met by a sprawling underground city. Oh god, no, this is the dubstep map. Ugh, I don't do dubstep. Incredible. Who knew that there was such a vast space beneath the ground? It's like an underground city. I've never seen buildings like these before. It's like an ancient ruin, but not just because of its appearance. I don't recall ever seeing architecture like this. In any case, it seems like we need to go deeper. Let's look around and see if we can find some stairs. Something on your mind? Are you not feeling well? No. It is simply... We must defeat those who slither in the dark, no matter what happens. But if my conjecture is correct, the one who they will wish to kill the most... ...is you, dear child. Why me? They are aware that you can use the sword of the Creator. Your body houses the same power they once bestowed upon Nemesis. That is why I fear for you. That's not much to go on. Perhaps. Please forgive my errant thoughts. Once this battle is over, I will explain everything. I will tell you all I know about who you really are. That is a lie. She will only do this in Silver Snow. This is Golden Deer, so instead she's going to give us context and world building. Can you not lie to my face? Thank you, Rhea. Let's talk about rewriting Golden Deer, okay? Claude's entire character has been around... Um... It's been centered around, let's see, uh, going up in everybody else's business. Nah, I'm kidding. No, but seriously, he has. Uh, but more importantly, it's about breaking borders and establishing a world free from the shackles of discrimination and oppression, right? His time skip route should have literally been going around the entire world, learning about different cultures, different walks of life, and then coming back to inherit the mantle of Dimitri's legacy of trying to kill Edelgard. Right. How do we do this? Well, all we really have to do is have Claude go to Almira, go to Dagda, go to Bridget, go to Morphis, go to Albinea, go to Sreng. Like, do an all around the world trip. End it in Almira. That's when he would get the notification. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, and his smartphone. No, he would get the news that obviously Dimitri would have passed. And with the world's army, he would then descend upon Edelgard. Church route should have been about taking down those who slither in the dark and Nemesis. What would I do for Edelgard's route? Extend it. Incorporate Holst into the story. Good lord. Right, okay. There we go, there we go. There we go, and... Show me again.
Okay, right. Uh, I want to move Ferdinand. So that he's where Ignatz is. Set up. You are going to absolutely destroy everybody and I am here for it. We'll be fine. I don't really need what's in these treasure chests this chapter, so I'm fine. Dubstep. I hate this so much. Begin. For thousands of years, we have existed underground, living on only that we might someday see our vengeance realized. Here and now, that vengeance is finally within our grasp. There is but one thing left to do. Destroy them! Damn those who stand with that arrogant goddess to oblivion! Away from the world of the living! Now is the time. Remove the binding spell of Titanus. Let their metal bodies be drenched in blood! Hey, what are those big... things? Demonic beasts? No. I think not. They appear to have no will of their own. Someone must be controlling them. Initiate all that remain! We must advance our preparations! The more I hear this music, the more it pisses me off. Now you can't make sound decisions Guide me well. when you're angry. Abraxas and Physic. There you go. Ready for anything. Don't ask me why he's still holding on to that. I don't even know myself. But you will wait there. I'm in. Go, meme savant. Step aside. Give the goddess my regards, yeah? At the ready. I'll do my best. Oh, good. What's the plan? God, that music's horrible. Sally Ford! Why not? Right, now let's work out this character, this Stay character, in. this core. There you go. At your service. What's my strategy? Go. This can activate. Increase output gradually, depending on the amount of magical energy charged. I don't care if we destroy Shambhala, so long as our goals are fulfilled. Begin. Giant Qatar. All is for victory! My strength building. Wow. Lament your weakness. I'm gonna send the door key back. Whoa. Let me paint you a picture. No mercy. 
My turn. Wow, no crit. I must lead them well. I'm actually surprised at that. I'm stronger than before. Send the door key to the convoy. Until we meet again. Another door key. Right, okay, so. Thanks. Constance can wait there. She will then be targeted by magic. This will trigger. Transmute, giving her plus three next turn in everything. For anything. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, right. Then we'll just put Ferdinand here. I'll do my best. I'm in. At the ready. Okay, okay. Ouch. Goodbye. I came out on top. This, this time. time. If I live, I fight. Dare you live on one HP? Get some more magic, Constance. I cannot mask my boundless elegance. I will not back down one step. No time for pity. the plan. Thank you. 
strategy. At your service. Okay, good. Right, brilliant. Steady now. It's gonna be a long time before Ignatz can do anything. Guide me well. Best crit quote. Destiny unfurls. Yes, he is. Healing focus. That's fine. There you go. He had full HP, that's why it was only a 50 chance for the Biscum Cannon to hit, but then the second one, because the first one hit, took away his confidence skill. So it added an extra 15 onto the hit for the cannon. They say experience feeds growth. So if these idiots somehow get unfortunate enough to move Ferdinand down into vantage range, it's death for everybody. These idiots are working towards it. If I live, I fight. Judgment is passed! Yay, set up. That is all. I can feel it in my bones. Good. There is a number of people who it would help if they were the ones to <gasps> knock out Talus on this map. Such characters include, but are not limited to, Happy, Lysithia, Seteth, Flame, Byleth. Hilda. Because if you remember, Shambhala is technically just south of Gonoril territory. Get the bolting. Kilon. A door key. Trade with Constance von Nouvelle, the door key for the knowledge gem, and then enter. And there they are. Well, now, can't be having that, can we? Amazing. The highest tier of dark magic attacks the entire battlefield, except flyers. If 
could. He's fine. He's got this. Obvious. Brilliant. Well done, Sylvain. That's fine. There's the quake. Let's try some. Guarantee crit. I will see this war through. Because crit plus 50 from uh, Wrath. So, Sylvain. I will not die here. Pull yourself here. Happy. Move yourself over here. Heal up Sylvain a little bit. Just a smidge, that's all. I'm not asking for a lot. Step carefully. Right. Heal. Knuckles. All is for victory. A boon for our future. They say experience feeds growth. <laughs> that shall do nicely. You have anti magic. Nope. I'm just worried about Constance. There we go. Right, okay. I'm all right. Might as well. My work's not done. And silence. You're nothing but animals, performing tricks in the hopes of pleasing the goddess. You will never see the sunlight again! Oh. Hold the phone. Is he immune to being silenced? Okay. Dead bitch. You got yourself killed. Zit after what you did to her. It just seems like the perfect fitting end for it, you know. I'm not there yet. Get to in 
enjoy your victory. It can't be. For all Agarthans, let there be light. Um, so, Nemesis is awake, <laughs> and I think next time, in the finale of this Let's Play, we'll have to throw him a big, fat, juicy homecoming party. So if you've enjoyed us standing strong at Shambhala and finally sticking it to those who slither in the dark, in the name of Lysithia von Ordelia, happy. Everybody that was ever affected by their experiments, even Edelgard von Hressfeld, then you better come through with a like and a subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I hope you have a lovely day. And if you're not subscribed yet, I still hope you also have a lovely day. Because you do deserve that much, and you deserve to be happy. But for now, I'm gonna love ya, I'm gonna leave ya, and I will see you next time for when we take on the finale of the Golden Deer storyline. Catch you guys later. Goodbye! I'm so excited, I can't believe we're here!